Hey guys, so I'm going to talk to you about my content strategy and how I'm able to scale and grow my content team, the tools that I use and everything else in between uh, that helps you with your ongoing content strategy. So starting out, the tool I'm going to introduce you to is ScaleNut. Now, you'll be able to see that in front of you just now. What it does is it basically is an all-in-one content strategy platform, if you want to call it that. Now, most important thing is pricing. <laughs> pricing does vary. It starts at $20 per month for 100,000 words, $40 a month if you want unlimited words, but 30 articles, and if you want 75 articles or more, and unlimited words, $75 a month. So there's a couple of different packages. Now, why do I use ScaleNut? I'm going to go straight into it and show you exactly how it all works. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction. In the videos below that, I'm going to go into each and every section as my content strategy goes. So whether that's keyword research, whether that's creating the content brief and outline, to creating that content and all the edits and all the tweaking that we do, all within the ScaleNut platform. So keep following. And here we have the interface of ScaleNut. This goes live on the 12th of September or thereabouts. It's the beta version just now. However, this, by the time these videos come out, this will be what your dashboard looks like. So we have dashboard, we've got article writer, content optimizer, keyword planner, traffic analyzer, and marketing copywriter. So I'm going to go through, and on this playlist, there's going to be videos underneath going through these things individually, one at a time. Now, the first thing before we utilize ScaleNut and any of the amazing functions and features that it's got is to do keyword planning. How do we know what we're going to write? What are the clusters that everyone talks about that we should be writing about? So Keyword Planner is going to be the first thing that I am going to look at. Uh, now, within the Keyword Planner, of course, ScaleNut do have a little video in the top right-hand corner. Of course, this one is going to be more informative. <laughs> um, but at the top here, you can pick the country uh, or location that you're based and you can put in the primary keyword to find related keywords. So I have put in SEO New York just as an example. Um, now what this basically does is it takes about five seconds and it's gonna go away and it's gonna give you the clusters and obviously this little tab here, you've got all the keywords and it's giving you all the different kind of search volume, the relevance, the cost per click, if you want that data. Um, but going back to the clusters, um, it's given us 20 clusters straight away, just like that, on high impact keywords. So whether that be SEO Expert New York, SEO Agency New York, local SEO New York, a New York SEO company, and so on and so forth. Those are all little segments or topic clusters, if you like. And there's one here, Search Engine Optimization Services, NYC. So <coughs> I'm going to click on that little cluster. It's got diff eight different keywords within that cluster. And I'm going to click Create SEO Article. Now on here, it's going to give me the keyword difficulty, scores. It's going to give me the relevance, which is 89, 91, 90. Uh, and the search volume here as well. Now, I'm going to click Create SEO Article and the tool is going to go away and create said article. Now, it's going to take a minute or so for it to create the article um, based on that cluster. Now, what I want to talk about with clustering is so many people feel that they should write a page for each and every single variation of a keyword, which results in cannibalization. So making sure that you cluster your keywords together and target a cluster of keywords with one page is the right way to be going about your business. Now, information retrieval costs money for Google. So if they need to go and crawl an index, 50 articles, 
when you could have had all of that into five is why so many experts out there are talking about topic clusters and how you want to merge some stuff, get rid of some dead wood in your website by doing some content pruning. You do not need to have a single article or page on your website about each and every single keyword on your website. Whilst I've been talking about that, the tool has done its job. So the first thing is we can configure certain parts of this article. Now, we can give a small description of the blog topic. Um, we can also give the tone of voice. Now, I can add in my tone, basically giving uh, ScaleNut my website, and it can look at the sort of tone that I use all of the time. So I've just given it a bit of context. Um, as the, you know, when you work with these tools, you want to give it as much context as you possibly can. I'm just doing this for a test. Now, what it does, as you can see that the tool's going away and doing something. Now, what it is, is giving us AI generated titles, and it's also giving us the top ranked titles for that given keyword. Now, it's also suggested the blog title, the header one tag there. Now, I can go in and I can change that. I can basically change that to best SEO companies in New York 2023, um, or any of the other ones that actually rank now, should I choose an AI generated one and be unique? Should I choose something that already ranks? That's up to you, that's a debate that you can have or maybe a mixture of somewhere in between. Um, so you've got AI generated ones here as well. Um, they all look reasonably solid to be fair. Drive traffic to your website with SEO services in NYC. Just as an example, I'm gonna go with that one and create the outline is the next step. So <coughs> we've created a clust cluster, we've given it some context, we've put in the header one tag, and now what the tool is doing again is going away and extracting more data, and it's basically giving us top ranked outlines. So we can use what is already working for our competitors. We can also use questions that we can put in here, now you can see this is the overall, um, it's given us 32 um, headings in here. It's saying we should have between 38 and 44. So do we want to potentially add in a few more? We can do, we can basically take some of this stuff here, add that in, we can do this. We just click whatever we want. I'm just clicking it random here. Um, SEO image and so on and so forth. So we can go in and we can click that stuff and it's going to take us to where we need to be, 38 out of 44 headings. Now, if you don't like any of this stuff here, you can manipulate that too. So you can go in and you can delete that header three there. Um, you can go and Bluebeard Digital, you can go and edit that and say what you like. That is completely up to you. So you've got the ability to manipulate this and edit the outline of the article. Um, so that is entirely up to you. You can obviously get the top ranked outlines. There's questions here. How much does it cost? Uh, you, can, you can put all of that kind of stuff in um, to the article. Um, now I've just clicked on a few questions there and it's basically put them down at the bottom. Um, now you can also write your own question. You can also write your own header tags. Um, you can also get more AI suggestions um, and the tool will go away and it will generate even more headings for you. So you can, you've got complete control over whether you manually enter these headings, whether you get AI suggestions, whether you get AI suggestions for more questions at the bottom as well. Um, how can SEO services help increase traffic to my website? You can do all of that kind of stuff there right now. Um, and it, it's it's really good that you've got the ability to edit and, and create all of this kind of stuff. Now from there, we're going to click on uh, the next button. And it's going to show us some of the writing points. Uh, now, the tool obviously will take time to digest the information that we've just put into it through the outline. Um, now, that is the writing points all there. 
Uh, you can add in more writing points here if you feel like it. Um, but you can see we've given it quite a lot already, so we'll not push our luck. Now, we can also click here to explore the, st the, the SERP statistics. So if you want to add in some statistics from the SERPs, we can throw that in to the mix as well. And something that I would highly recommend because everyone loves a statistic. Um, and then from there, you click generate content. Now, the content will take, it's fairly quick, but it will take a little bit of time. Now, you'll be, be able to see um, what it turns out in just a second. This is the first draft of the content. Now, we can see the meta title, the meta description is given as a permalink as well. Gives us everything. Now, you can get AI suggestions for that stuff. Now, header is there and it's got one... 192 words in that paragraph. Now, I can regenerate, rephrase, paraphrase, add bullet points, shorten, simplify. I can customize that paragraph. So with a lot of AI tools, you have to go away and rewrite the whole bloody article, which is a pain in the backside. The fact that you can do this by header, by paragraph, and regenerate, rephrase, shorten, simplify, whatever it might be, you can go and do that at the push of a button. Now, I've just done that there to that top paragraph. And you'll be able to see it's now come back with 215 words for that top paragraph. I might be happy with that. I might not be. You can tweak around until you're happy with it. Now, you can see all of the headers all the way down to the bottom, including the questions and all that kind of stuff. Now, the conclusion part, you can edit rephrase, do what you like. But basically, at the push of a button, we've got 3,296 words, an SEO score of 66. Now, obviously it's saying Google, uh, the suggested is 75 plus, and it's also given us key term usage. Now, can we stick in reputation management, lead gen, and so on and so forth? Of course we can. Um, so it's given us that score of 66. Um, now, from here, it's telling us that we're missing some keywords. Key term assistant on here um, is going to help us optimize this article a little bit better. Um, now, I can change that to Bing. I can change that to e-commerce. I can change that to automation, internet, lead gen, Long Island, reputation management. Um, and you see that that score has jumped up to 74. Now, you can then go and add in um, some meta tags. Uh, primary keyword should be present in the meta title, which it's not. Um, you can go in and add one, that's saying there's one issue with the primary keyword should be present in the header one. So again, that's something we can edit. We can add featured snippets. We can look at the header two to header six. And again, um, we, sh we can go through here and tick all of these boxes. Um, and primary sake, uh, it's, it's, again, it's given more keywords should be present here, there and everywhere. Um, so we can go through and edit that and get the score up. Now, it also gives us um, full control over the article. Now, the article is saying it should be 75. Um, now, also, we've got the, the ability to look at the brief. We can add in additional keywords. We can edit the word count. We can edit the, the headings and everything uh, in here as well. We can add in some references and so on. Um, we can see the importance um, based on New York, of course, uh, given that that's one of the main keywords and so on and so forth. So we can fully optimize this article to the best we possibly can. And from there, that is the, the article creation. That is the, the keyword planning right through to the article creation. Now in the next video, We've got the article, we place it on the website, what happens next? So we're going to talk about the content optimization. So this is the creation, what else do we do from here is all going to be in the next video.